my lovely, lovely, lovely video. So here I have sine of 13 pi over 12. Um, and what I want to do, if I notice, since my denominator is 12, um, on the unit circle, I don't really have any of my coordinate points that I can use to be able to find the value of this angle. So to find the approximate solution, what I'm going to have to do for sine of 13 pi over 12 is I'm going to have to break it up into two different solutions that I can solve for. And those the solutions have to be a multiple of either pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, or pi over 2. Now obviously, you know, we could just simplify this and say, you know, either pi over 4 or pi over 3. But if you just look about that, when I like to do this, when I'm trying to figure out either what two numbers can I make that will either add up to uh, 13 pi over 12 or subtract to give me 13 pi over 12. Well, I just kind of did a little math to make this video go a little bit faster. Um, I was able to determine that I could rewrite this as sine of 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 3. So therefore, when you do the mathematics and you separate and you combine these like and you combine with their denominators, you will get 13 pi over 12. Now this is really important because now what I have is I have the sum of two different angles. So to, to solve for sine, I can use the sum dip, um, the sum angle uh, formula for sine. And what that's going to look like is if I have two angles that I'm adding sine of u times sine of e. What that equals is the sine of u times the cosine of v plus the cosine of u times the sine of v. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let 3 pi over 4 be my u and pi over 3 be my v. So now what I'll do is I'll write sine of u plus v equals, I'm sorry, sine of 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 3 equals the sine of u, which is 3 pi over 4, times the cosine of pi over 3 plus cosine of 3 pi over 4 times the sine of pi over 3. So now what I need to do is I need to determine what these values are. Now luckily, these are all values that we know are on the unit circle because I used multiples of these angles. So I can determine what these angles are. So I'll just draw a quick little unit circle here. And when I look at this unit circle, the sine of 3 pi over 4, 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi over 4 is right here. That angle is negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, radical 2 over 2. And the cosine of pi over 3 is going to be this angle right here. And that point is 1 half radical 3 over 2. So the sine of 3 pi over 4, remember, is your y-coordinate of your coordinate point. So the y-coordinate of 3 pi over 4 is radical 2 over 2. The cosine of pi over 3 is my x-coordinate, which is 1 half. The cosine of 3 pi over 4 is going to be negative radical 2 over 2. So plus uh, radical, or sorry, negative radical 2 over 2 times the sine of pi over 3, which is radical 3 over 2. Okay, And now, simply all I need to do is just multiply across. Two, uh, two, square root of 2 times 1 is radical 2 over 4 minus radical 6 over 4. And then what you notice here is before I can combine these, I can actually factor out a radical 2 over 4. And what I'll be left with is a 1 minus radical 3. And that is going to be my answer for the sign.